Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss about journals and periodicals. First we see the Daily Current. Daily Current was published on 11th March 1702. It was the first British daily newspaper and it was produced by Elizabeth Mallet at her premises next to the King's Arms Tavern at Fleet Bridge in London. The newspaper consists of a single page with advertisements on the reverse side. Mallet advertised that she intended to publish only foreign news and would not add any comments of her own, supposing her readers to have sense enough to make reflections for themselves. Next we see the review which was founded by Daniel Defoe. The full title was the review of the affair of France. Defoe's review was published 15 years after the glorious revolution which was not the first English periodical but it was the first to engage a particular political topic the relationship between England and France. England's relationship to France in this period is tenuous. The review was published from 1704 to 1713 and it was published three times a week uh, that is Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. The next journal, The Turtler, which was founded by Richard Steele in the year 1709, who used the pen name Isaac Bickerstaff. This is the first known such consistently adopted journalistic persona, which adapted to the first person as it were the 17th century genre of characters, as first established in English by Sir Thomas Overbury and then expanded by Lord Shaftesbury's characteristics. Steele's conceit was to publish the news and gossip heard in various London coffee houses and so he declared in the opening paragraph to leave the subject of politics to the newspapers. The Tatler had total 271 essays and Addison contributed 42 essays and Steele contributed 188 essays and rest of the essays were written in collaboration. The Tatler was published thrice a week, that is Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. The purpose of the Tatler was to expose false art of life, to pull off the disguises of vanity and affection. Next we see the female Tatler. The female Tatler was a popular scandal sheet published in London in 1709 and 1710. Purportedly, it was written by women, first by Mrs. Crackenthorpe and then taken over by a society of ladies in circulation for less than one year 1709 to 1710 one of the first periodicals written primarily for though not aimed solely at an audience of women the female tattler charmed early 18th century Londoners with its lively wit and scathing satire it nevertheless marks an important point in magazine publication history and in female authorship and readership the female tattler is often passed over especially in relation to its the female Tatler was the counterpart and inspiration for Richard Steele's periodical The Tatler, yet the female Tatler capably stands on its own. Mrs. Crackenthorpe and her successors poked fun at London's well-known citizens three times every week. Next we see The Spectator. The Spectator was a daily publication founded by Joseph Addison and Richard Steele in England. It, it was lasting from 1711 to 1712. Each paper or number was approximately 2500 words long and the original run consisted of 555 numbers beginning on March 1st, 1711. These were collected into seven volumes. The paper was revived without the involvement of Steele in 1714 which was appearing thrice weekly for six months and these papers when collected formed the eighth volume Eustace Burgell, a cousin of Addison's and the poet John Hugh also contributed to the publication. Here Addison contributed to 74 essays and Steele contributed to 36 essays. The purpose of the spectator to enliven morality with wit and temper with wit morality. The next journal is The Guardian which was started by Richard Steele on 12th March 1713 and lasted up to October 1st 1713. It was a short lived newspaper published in London. Joseph Addison, Thomas Tickle, Alexander Pope and Ambrose Phillips were the contributors for this journal, The Guardian. Already we have known Addison and Steele had previously collaborated on The Turtler and The Spectator. The Guardian is a British dial newspaper founded in 1821 as The Manchester Guardian. Later in 1959, it renamed as The Guardian. 
next we see the gentleman's magazine it was started by edward cave in the year 1731 the gentleman's magazine supported tory thoughts the purpose of this magazine was to produce news and commentary on anything related to public interest from prizes to poetry Dr Johnson was also associated with this magazine the term magazine was first used here by K it was a monthly magazine it was founded in London England it ran uninterrupted for almost 200 years until 1922 it was the first to use the term magazine from the french magazine meaning storehouse Dr Samuel Johnson's first regular employment as a writer was with the Gentleman's Magazine. The original title was The Gentleman's Magazine or Trader's Monthly Intelligencer. Cave's innovation was to create a monthly digest of news and commentary on any topic the educated public might be interested in from commodity prices to latin poetry it carried original content from a stable of regular contributors as well as extensive quotations and extracts from other periodicals and books cave edited the gentleman's magazine under the pen name silvanus urban Next we see the London magazine it was founded by Isaac Kimber in 1732 and it was lasted in 1785 Stephen O Brien was the editor of this magazine it was published by monthly the purpose of this magazine was to support art and literature famous figures like Wordsworth Keats were associated with this magazine The London Magazine is the title of six different publications that have appeared in succession since 1732 all six have focused on the arts literature and miscellaneous topics next the monthly review it was started by Ralph Griffith it was an english periodical founded by ralph griffith a non conformist bookseller the first periodical in england to offer reviews it featured the novelist and poet oliver goldsmith as an yearly contributor Goldsmith Tobias Smollett and Charles Burney wrote many reviews for this monthly review. Next we see the periodical The Rambler. It was started by Dr. Samuel Johnson in the year 1750 and it was lasted in 1752. It was published by weekly that is Tuesday and Saturday. The purpose of this periodical is to join both profit and delight in one. The moral issues were highlighted. Also The Rambler was a series of short papers. We have more than 35 topics. We have to see the next topics in my next video. Keep watching. If you think this is useful for you, you have to like, comment and share and never forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching.